hope you've all been well. It's been a strange few weeks out there. Stress has been rampant, getting us all. That is what today's all about. Those little things that can help a rational happiness triggers things that hormones are positive turn from negative and stress. So today is all about a rational happiness triggers, and there's quite a few versions of that. Like we all know about the stress, we're all drowning in cortisol, we're all dealing with it on a daily basis. We know what the problem is. That's something we're all very, very aware of. But what I didn't know for a very long time, and particularly as someone that had, you know, suffered PTSD for 30 years, was what the solution was. How do I fix all of this? After all of this amount of time, what are the things we can do that actually make our life a bit more positive. We all know when we sit in front of an open fire, we relax. Our whole body is involved. Our eyes watch it. Our bodies relax. The stress just reduces and we feel better for it. The sound of the fire relaxes us. We get the warmth of the fire. Everything like that. And these are what the irrational happiness triggers are all about. These little things that just break our mental state distract us from the world around us for a minute and let us kind of start and like things like this one see cow noises is what it's all about sometimes you need the fun because there's so much stress and sometimes just the distraction Let's us catch our breath. There is something we can do when the chaos hits. And let's take a little time for some happiness. That can be some silly fun Like playing with cow noises Or it can be singing song Or sitting by a river Just enjoying the flow and letting stress go that is what it's all about positive ways to vent and like trying to play the roles on a silly kid's toy but that's what it's all about. When we were young, we wouldn't think we would have just gone with the moment and had a little fun. So I encourage you all to just go with it. The rose indeed. And that's what it's all about. And for so long we know what the stress is, but you know, for so long we didn't know what these little positive things we can do. And they're things that also trigger the positive hormones. So when we're silly, we laugh, we get the endorphins. When we pat our animals, we get oxytocin. They get it, we get it. It's always a mutually beneficial thing. And that's what a lot of it's all about. And it's, you know, when we were young, we really used to know how to have fun. We'd just go with things. And we didn't judge ourselves. It wasn't about, am I perfect, am I not? It was about enjoying the experience. And I find as we get older, we 
kind of filter that and we lose this ability to just kind of go with it and vent. And I find it in a lot of those moments is where this relief is. One of the main things, of course, is music. Music is one of the things we all love. It's something that relaxes all of us. And as you will all know with me, a lot of that comes with a love of silly song and everything like that as well. And the reason for that is it does distract us from this. It takes us out of the moment. It, you know, takes us out of all the chaos for a minute and lets us catch our breath. So this is a poem that I made that's literally all about where this all started. I wrote this poem. I wrote this about two and a half years ago and it's changed my path. It's become my life's work on an arts level. Um, I'm all about these irrational happiness triggers, things that find relief for us and they're in everything I do. And it all started with this poem. So this will give you a bit of an idea. Here we go. This is the irrational happiness triggers and I'll be with you in a moment. This is where it all started. This is called Irrational Happiness Caused By. Reflections in puddles or bodies of water with sunsets above. Getting lost in deeper eyes like horses and guinea pigs. A roaring fire that heats body and soul, entrances eyes and mind. Many things and before you know, time stopped a little and everything's okay. Irrational happiness caused by patting random dogs, looking into their eyes as you commune silently. Irrational happiness caused by the scent of roses on the breeze as the sun warms your back. The lighting under trees as the sun dances above, throwing shadow and rays. Irrational happiness caused by post-it notes and letter files, ticking items off lists, bring such irrational bliss. Highlighters and fountain pens and art supplies, way too much bliss to contend. Blank sketchbooks full of undetermined promise, potential to direct. Irrational happiness caused by the ocean at my ankles or a river on its course water's soft symphony, bird song audible over chaos, a moment of relief and distraction, irrational happiness caused by small animals waking themselves with a fart and ensuring confusion, floating in a warm bath like the unseen current, yet comforting and serene, irrational happiness caused by life in the most random of places where you least expect them. Ah, and the butterflies. So <clears throat> that's what it's all about for me. And so there we go. That was just a little brief introduction for you. A lot of this, as you know, for me is all about silly song and everything like that. One of the songs that I am... Um, is all about this is a madness song I rewrote and this is about kitty craft for adults and that's one of the things I love so I've done my first one of them fingers only where I ended up with paint everywhere Look, the other day this is my first attempt at pugs dogs so there we go there's a little pug for everyone um, and art's what it's all about art gives us a huge amount of relief and stuff like this here's a max from last night let's see if you can see that there we go there's a Max asleep on my phone. Uh, sorry, it's behind plastic, this one. So, But I'll show you some of them a little bit later. See, that's what the happiness is all about. And part of it, thank you very much. And I will do some studio time with you later. I've organised to open all my art studio up. You'll be able to see me drawing and doing whatever it is I do. So one of the things in that is art therapy. And this is an art therapy song, which is all about that. It's all about having a bit of fun. And I've got this series called kitty craft for adults which I'm doing here which is part of this it's all about silly little things we have around the house we can play with like finger painting or you know we can go outside and grab a couple of leaves and I can show you how to make paint from them with what you've got in your kitchen and you know little silly things like that we can do really quickly so this is a song about that one so here we go kitty craft for adults Bwah, 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 brings play and art. ba da ba da ba ba da ba da ba 
Smile, my face appearing. Light a step in my feet. Laughter is erupting. Getting off grumpy street. If you're not in the mood to play, step back, give yourself a break. This may not be fine art, but it brings a little fun. Bust a bowl me over with your line and tone. Shuffle me off my rut. And if I keep on going, I'll get better every time. Bring back the... We want the... Bring back the play. And a little fun. <laughs> so there we go. And that's what a lot of it's about. Having fun, going with the moment, being as silly as we possibly can be. We're going irrational happiness. Let's do this as a tiger. It'll make sense in a minute. So one of the things that makes us Australians very, very happy is caramello koalas and Freddo frogs. So every country has something. When you do something good as a kid, you are given a treat. So ours were caramello koalas. Now, unfortunately, these are about a quarter of the size they were when I was a kid. And I have a few here. So I'm going to show you these. So they come in a little packet like so, and the debate here is a couple of things. So what people normally debate is when it comes to a caramello koala, do you eat the head first or the feet? I don't know. Like we had this debate with chocolate. Uh, with When you eat a bunny at Easter, do you eat the ears first? Do you bite the face off? Do you crack it open? Do you bite the stomach? How do you eat it first? We've all got these things, and these are the stupid little things that make us happy. Like caramello koalas. Mm -hmm. It is caramel. So, you get this lovely... Now, unfortunately, this is so much smaller than when I was a kid. So, it's chocolate on the outside. My favourite way to eat them is like this. You bite the stomach off first, and that'll actually show you all the caramel and stuff on the inside. So, this is one of our favorite little treats, <laughs> and I know you'll all have them. So, what's your little kid's treat you were given when you were, did something good? Maybe as an adult, you'll see them. I don't eat these often. Maybe once a year I'll eat a caramel koala, but it makes me feel like a kid. Same with Alfredo frogs. In New Zealand, it's a chocolate fish. Um, it'll be different in every country. <laughs> I often just shove it all in too. <laughs> and that's what it's about. Some people like to eat the ears first and work their way down. So this is our little head. <laughs> We've only got a head left. Ha! Ah. So, sometimes it's food. <laughs> Thank you. Milky Way bars. The Milky Ways are on me. It's the Milky Bar Kid. Do you get them? Reese's, there we go. So that'll be Reese's are the peanut chocolate peanut cups. And then you're, they're the same company that does the Hershey's Kisses, kisses I'm pretty sure. <laughs> there we go. And we all have them. Um, Here is mint patties and coconut ruffs. And the mint patties were my favorite. When I eat M&M's. I like an equitable distribution of colours. It's my weird thing. We all have a way of eating M&Ms. So, do you just go for a handful? Do you have a colour you like? I like to make sure my colours are mixed. So, if I have six in my hand of three colours, I'll eat one of two colours. So, there's always an equal mix of colours. I make sure no colours left out, but I prefer the green ones. Even though none of them taste any different. So... There you go. We all have weird ways of eating them. Do you eat a set colour first and then the next, or do you just grab them indiscriminately? This is the sort of stuff that makes us happy, believe it or not, because we become like a kid when it happens, and we go, ooh, and we go into our little game, and we don't even realise we're doing it. So that's what a huge amount of this is about, and with a lot of this stuff, it's not about telling you what mine are, you know, and it is, I will tell you what mine are, but it's more about 
you know, working out what your own are because these are little things that really help and taking a little moment out for, you know, if you're having a crap day, having a caramello koala will put a smile on your face for a few minutes. And sometimes that's what it's about. Sometimes it's made these little moments that let us gain up our breath, let us go, okay, it's not all crap. And when we get older, it's usually having a coffee. But whenever do we get to drink all of our coffee anymore? Everything's always rush, rush, race, race. So we kind of, you know, grab a sip here, a sip there, and by the time we get to it, it's gone half cold. <laughs> it's the modern world. There's a huge amount of these things, and that's hence why we're up to number four of these, and I could go on these for a year and not get to the end of them. Um, I had some other stuff, like some of the other stuff here. I had stuff to show us. Things we loved when we were a kid. This literally cost me a dollar, 50 cents. And I can use it many, many times. And I can guarantee there won't be a person here that isn't getting a little happy seeing this. So what we have here, let's see. You can get some bubbles going. It's bubbles. So, you know, simple little bit of detergent and water. Think back when you were a kid. How much did you love playing with bubbles? You could get absorbed in it for hours just watching. Even, you know, watching the... Here they come. Watching the light shift and everything like that was a phenomenal difference. And these are some of the little things that just are really fun. We used to love them when we were kids and we kind of forget about it. And then occasionally we have bad days and we let ourselves relax a bit and have fun for a minute and we actually feel better for it. So, you know, that's what a lot of it's about, you know, silly little bubble ones and, you know, making a daisy chain for your hair or feeding a, you know, patting a dog you see while you're out and about. Part of this is just having... You know, we all know really silly songs. We all have songs that distract us. You know, what I call my break state songs and stuff like that too. And that's part of it. We get a, you know, we get a bit of a positive payoff from listening to them. And they make us happy. So I'm going to sing a couple of the Australian ones because if um, that's what a lot of it is about. And I guarantee there's a lot of these Aussie songs you will all know. And as soon as you hear it, you just kind of get absorbed in the song a bit. So this is definitely one of my favourites of these. And this is a song a lot of you over in America will know as well. So this is an Aussie anthem. We love this song with a passion. Um, so here we go. Sometimes when this place gets kind of empty sound of their breath fades with the light I think about the loveless fascination under the Milky Way tonight lower the curtain down on Memphis Lower the curtain down, oh, all right. I got no time for private consultation under the Milky Way tonight. Wish I knew what you were looking for. Might have known what you would find And it's something quite peculiar Something shimmering and white Leads you here despite your destination under the Milky Way tonight Wish I knew what you were looking for Might have known what you were find and it's something quite peculiar 
Something shimmering and white Leads you here Despite your destination Under the Milky Way tonight I need my coffee <laughs> Wish I knew what you were looking for Might have known what you would find Wish I knew what you were looking for Might have known what you would find under the Milky Way tonight Under the Milky Way tonight So there we go, with a little bit of impromptu <laughs> bubble Nature and music, I'm 100% with you there, Wanda So nature and music are my greatest sources of relief um, so I did ask people as well, what were their happy places? What made them happy? You know, what was it that they found relief in? And these are things I find are quite similar for all of us. And why I think it's a really good conversation because we have all these things in our life and we don't always realize some of the benefit we get from them as well, which can make us a little bit more motivated to keep doing them. So one of Pug's main ones is Pugs are his happiness, animals with unconditional love, unlike most humans, and I agree with you. Vegemite makes me irrationally happy. I even have my Vegemite collectible um, glass. And yesterday I was having a bit of a crap day and I said to myself, use your Vegemite glass, it'll make you happy. And every time I look at it, I smile. It's a really stupid thing. Now this will make Mama Dingo smile too. She'll be going, ooh. <laughs> um, and I had a matching plate for that and I got a couple of different glasses at the same time but these are a lot of fewer that you know what some of those things are. and I know a lot of us will have songs and stuff like that that we really love too dogs see the best way I heard it was to err is human to forgive is canine dogs don't do passive aggressive animals don't do passive aggressive they're unconditional. If they're angry and upset, they let you go, but it passes. They don't hang on to it. They don't, except for cats who can sometimes mutiny, <laughs> and sometimes you'll get paid back several days later, but you generally know there's a reason. Um, they're a little bit more um, uh, catty in the way they approach it. So, so you think you can tell Heaven from hell, blue skies from pain. Can you tell a green field from a cold still rail? A smile from a veil, do you think you can tell? Did they get you to trade? Your heroes for ghosts, hot ashes for trees, hot air for a cold breeze, cold comfort for change. Did you exchange a walk on part in the wall for a lead role in a cage? How, how I wish you were here We're just two lassos Swimming in a fish mall Year after year Running over the same old ground And how we found The same old fears Wish you were here. So there was a reason that I chose this song to be the first that I learned a cappella. It's one we all love. We've all heard it. 
It makes us relax and warms our hearts. We've all sat there and heard it before, and the happiness accumulates. <laughs> And that's one of those songs and what it's all about. So there's a reason I sing that song all the time. I love that song with a passion. I love singing it with my eyes closed because I distract from everything else around me and I don't have to think. And they're sometimes the best songs. So sing. These are my happiness triggers that create it for other people. And stuff like that is a prime example. We all love that song and we all love it for different reasons. Sometimes it makes us happy, sometimes it makes us sad. Sometimes it makes us remember what we've lost, sometimes it makes us remember what we've gained. And in time, I tend to find, irrespective of what the memories are, over time, you just wish you had a bit more time with people. You just, you know, and that's what a lot of it's about. And that's why songs like that are a prime example. You know, why we have this obligatory Floyd requirement and stuff like that. I'm not here either. I am still a figment of your imagination. I'm hiding in the corner. This is not my reality. This is a figment of someone else's. Just a collage put together by YouTube. None of us are really here. <laughs> you want the cowbell? Give me a second. Un momento, por favore. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ask and you'll receive. You can ring my bell. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. My cowbell. You can ring my bell. <laughs> okay, so let's see if we can do this. The rhythm unites us all as it dances in our souls. Caresses with vibration, frequency and sound. The rhythm unites our soul as it dances in our soul caresses with vibration frequency and sound <laughs> there you go ask and you will receive <laughs> you see and that's what it's all about fun 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 and the cat didn't come in and the cat will be outside going Oh, she's at it again. Why aren't you inside? I'm missing the fun. <laughs> and when in doubt, more cowbell. More cowbell. More cowbell. Oh, we were talking recently about doing a triple moo and we never did it. So let's do a triple moo. <laughs> Here we go. Cow. <laughs> Ooh, cow. Moo, 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 <laughs> moo, 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 <laughs> moo, 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 <laughs> moo, 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 Three-way moves, Rose style. 
<laughs> there we go. That was an idea from a while back and we never got to the three-way move. Sometimes the ideas come back. I should be doing some beiges, some j j j talking You're telling me lies. Jive talking, you wear a disguise. <laughs> if we have time, I'll do a little bit of that. Cause you ain't nothing but a silly person that's really stressed. Just let the fun out and go with it. You ain't nothing but stressed and need some happiness. Catch your breath, let it rise away. Catch your breath and it better. We all need some silly and fun out there. I sometimes am a stress monster. That's when things break around me. So it's better take a moment and top that now. <laughs> So, there we go. And for whatever reason, we've still got caramel M&Ms up there. So, we've all got that inner alien exactly, and that's what it's all about. And um, it's exactly what it's all about. And, you know, there are different words for it. People call it inner alien different things, you know. Um, like the song starts, here we go. And I find these things help. You know, this is what it's all about. Um, it's all about those little things that, you know, give us a bit of relief when the world's a bit crap. And it has habit of being a bit crap sometimes. And I look, everyone I've spoken to in the last few weeks, we've just all been in what I call the fuster, which means the clusterfuck. So all those little things go wrong at once. And when it's just one or two things, you can cope with it. But when you get like 10 of them hitting at once, you just... And that's when you kind of need this sort of stuff. And that's when I find my health flares... Hence, when I get really tired, I get sick. It all kind of correlates. So, my pleasure, and it's what it's about. And the thing is, we all help each other. To me, I have three ethoses I live by in life more than anything. Number one is everything we do can be symbiotic. Everything we do can be mutually beneficial. Bribery works as long as both parties, you know, get something. There is, things aren't so black and white. And I'm not saying, you know, everyone should bribe everyone. I'm just saying, you know, it's not so black and white. Everything we do can be symbiotic. I also believe in treating others how I want to be treated. That's really key to me. The other thing for me is don't ask people to do what you're not willing to do yourself. And that is that double standards thing. So, so often, um, you know, people would ask me to do stuff that they wouldn't be willing to do. Or I'd be happy to ask someone else to do something, but I wouldn't be prepared to do it myself. And, you know, I had a life as a finance manager too. So I had to really learn that kind of stuff. And um, so that's one of the, they're kind of three of the biggest things that I live by more than anything. But um, yeah, and look, it doesn't always happen that way. Sometimes I unravel at the same. I am half Italian too. So I, you know, I've had to learn to find ways to vent in a positive way. I have the fire in the blood. Now that's a really good thing, but it can be a really bad thing at times too. So you know, most people that have the fire in the blood, we were born as walking volcanoes, including myself. And now I have an incredibly long fuse and I do a lot to make sure I don't blow up. And I kind of see it for what it is now, instead of just letting myself knee-jerk reaction and attack, <laughs> which is what a lot of people will quite happily do. So, oh, thank you. <laughs> I have my, I'm not everyone's cup of tea though, too. And that's the thing, you know, I don't presume that... <laughs> I don't like everyone and I don't presume everyone's going to like me. So, and there'll be things that I'm into that other people like and things that, you know, I'm into that other people won't like. <laughs> but that's where the variety of life comes in, you know. And see, for me, it doesn't so matter what you're passionate about as long as you're passionate about something. Because I believe passion breeds passion, inspiration breeds inspiration. If we're talking about, like, case in point, if anyone was watching Pug's video earlier about him fixing our so cows car, I'm not a car person. I thoroughly enjoyed that. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And everyone was getting into stuff they were doing. And it's like when people are talking about stuff they're passionate about, that inspires other people. It's not the subject matter that's such the issue. It's the inspiration. And music inspires us like nothing else. And I find as we get older, the periods between being inspired and looking for inspiration get a lot wider. So as I've got older, instead of it being this natural thing that just kind of happens, 
I've had to, um, you know, do a huge amount to, um, you know, balance that in. <laughs> I trust me a lot, don't like me, but that's okay. And they normally don't like me when I say no for the first time or goodbye. That's usually one of the two. If I say goodbye or no, is usually where it it happens. But um, I do appreciate it. I do appreciate it. And the beauty of it and the beauty of symbiosis is we cheer each other up. And I always try to make this interactive as possible. So it's always everyone's chat. You know, I'm just a bit of the furniture and the, the tool or the puppet up here that, you know. And it's all about, you know, all of us doing it together. And it's a win-win for me as well. And that's what I love about it. So, and, um, yeah. And being an odd bunch is what it's all about. I've learned when someone calls me a freak or a weirdo, it's a compliment. And I want to be that person. I want to be myself. I want to be unique and individual. I don't want to be everyone else. And I don't ex want anyone else to be me. I want every person to be themselves, to be the best them they can be. Not me, not anyone else, themselves. And um, that's um, one of the things that, you know, I'm a little bit passionate about. Until then, have some fun, everyone. Don't let people stop you. Don't let people tell you you don't know what you're doing. Don't let their drama and politics prevent you from doing what you're doing. I am here to benefit myself and everyone else. And if anyone wants to stop me, they're just a prick. They are just a prick. And the people that will try to stop you are not the people that are capable of doing it themselves. They are the people that think it's okay to roast the world, to vilify the world, to criticize them for everything they're not capable of doing. And they will put their two cents in over everything. I do not respond to things unless I'm asked directly and there's a reason for that. So much love to all of you. Always more, never less. And I'll see you later on.